In this video, we're going to introduce TraceFinder Translator, a utility that allows you to translate TraceFinder into the language of your choice. We're going to go through the basic functions of TraceFinder Translator and uh, show you how to use it. Let's first of all go ahead and, to set the context, run uh, TraceFinder Translator and show you what TraceFinder looks like in Chinese. To run TraceFinder in Chinese, simply press the Open TraceFinder in Chinese button and uh, the translations will be uh, placed in the right directory and TraceFinder will be opened up in Chinese. Okay. Now that you have some context, let's go through the various functions of TraceFinder Translator. You can open up a translation file. You'll notice that uh, translation files are the word translation underscore and the language code. So that um, things are simple, um, there is only one translation per locale. If you'd like to open up the folder where these are stored, you can press this little icon in the open dialog. And if for some reason you wanted to create a copy of a language, say you wanted to translate uh, only the acquisition wizard, you could rename the file like such. But notice that when you save um, a translation file, it always uses the word translation and underscore locale code. You can save a translation file and when you save it a backup will be created. That backup is created in this folder. You'll notice that it has the date time and the locale code so that you don't lose any valuable information during translation. You have the uh, publish option which I'll come back to but this basically allows you to uh, publish to the online store to be made available for other users to download. You'll see uh, once you publish a file it will be available in the online store uh, according to the locale and username that you've uploaded it as. The options menu allows you to choose uh, your username that you would like to be uh, visible in the online store and the translation service. At this time only Google translation service is available but Bing will be made at some time in the future as well. These settings are persisted and saved so that they will be available next time you open up TraceFinder Translator. Uh, the tools menu simply has the option to clear all translations The Help menu will take you to the online TraceFinder Translator help files. Okay, now that we've gone through the menu, let's jump down into the um, utilities for searching particular resources so that you can translate what you're looking for. You'll notice at the top here, you have your locale selector. If you change your locale, it will uh, clear all the uh, translations, if there are any. And you can search in the key, which is the resource key. That's the key that the application uses to look up, um, to display text on the screen. You can search through the English, um, which is the default language, or you can search through the translation. Let me open up a Chinese translation that has more interesting text. So if I wanted to search for all um, keys that contain the word CDB in them, I could search like so. If I wanted to search for an exact match, let's say error CDB does not exist. 
I could use the exact match option. Or I could um, search for all, of course keys are not going to be blank, but uh, if I wanted to look for all the translations that have not been translated yet, I could search for the blank, I could use the blank option. Or if I wanted to search only for translations that are non-blank. You'll see down in the bottom left, you have the filtered indicator, which shows you how many uh, results are displayed after the filter has taken effect. So of the 8,562 uh, resource strings that have been found, after applying the filter, 8,515 are visible in the grid. And that will update as the filter is applied. You can press this eraser button to er clear the search. And once you've cleared your search, your filtered and your items should match. Pressing the More link button will expose these additional advanced fields, which include a drop-down if you only wanted to search in a particular uh, DLL, or if you wanted to search through this resource string column. This can be useful when you want to focus on translating a particular window or form inside of TraceFinder. You also have the exact match option. Um, you can press this filter icon here to populate uh, the search resource. The include language in TraceFinder title bar simply causes this text to show up in the title bar of TraceFinder. So it makes it easier when you're switching between languages to know that um, your language is, is uh, your translations are taking effect. And finally, the show detail button will give additional detail of what's going on behind the scenes. Um, if you'd like to, for example, when you are submitting a translation to the Google Translation Service, you can get feedback about what is going on during that operation. Also, when you are opening TraceFinder in Chinese, obviously if TraceFinder is running, it cannot produce the translation files. So close, translate, close TraceFinder and try again. This will uh, generate the resource DLLs, put them in the right file so that TraceFinder knows where to look for them and then open up TraceFinder. And you can get that detail here in the detail dialog. You can also, if you want to, open up the directory in which TraceFinder Translator places those translation DLLs. I did want to demonstrate also the Google Translate feature which will translate all the rows which are selected. You'll see that um, all the rows, which may quite, uh, which can be a large number of rows, um, will get translated one at a time. If you'd like to cancel the translation, press the cancel button. This service does cost money, not very much money, a few cents per translation, uh, but please use it wisely. This concludes our tutorial on TraceFinder Translator. I hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions, please uh, send us an email, and happy translating.